What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this lightning effect inside of After Effects. Now I actually did a similar video pretty much doing this effect on a different video but it was more tailored towards different kind of edits like sports or whatever so I had a lot of comments asking how to do this lightning effect for car edits and to be honest the process is pretty similar but I'm just going to be going over exactly how to do it with your car videos and the effects may look pretty complicated but it's actually a super simple effect. So with your car footage in the timeline the first thing you want to do is go over the tracker and hit track camera. So once your tracking is done, you should see all these points in your footage. And if your 3D camera tracker like fails or something, you might want to go here and mess with the shot type and change this around to like variable zoom. But if it works for the fixed angle, then just keep it on that. And let's go ahead and select some of the points in the background here. So if you just drag and then click them, it will create like a little target where you can go ahead and right click it and then create new null in camera. So now it creates two more layers. You have a camera layer and then a null layer. Now let's go ahead and duplicate our car layer. So hitting control D and we're just going to go ahead and delete the camera tracker on that top layer. And let's go into our rotor brush, double click the layer. So it opens up in a new layer and then we can go ahead and select our car. Once you have your first frame outlined, you can just go ahead and kind of skim through the rest of the frames, but it looks like it did a pretty good job. So let's just go ahead and hit freeze. And then we can go ahead and just close out of those layers. Now we can actually go ahead and add the lightning overlays. I'll have a link down in the description below where you can go ahead and download this overlay that I'm using. There's tons of other ones you can find on YouTube. And this is a pretty low quality one. So to be honest, you'd probably want something higher resolution because if you zoom in here, it's very pixelated. So if you guys have any ideas or know different places or websites where you can find higher quality footage or motion graphic templates like this, then let me know down in the comments below because yeah, this lightning isn't the best quality, but I think it will work for this video. So let's just go ahead and drag that into our timeline. And I'm just going to select one of these first lightnings right here. So trim it down and let's change the mode to screen. So now it's transparent. Then we want to use this parent pick whip tool and parent this to the track null. Then we can go onto the lightning overlay and enable 3D. Now you can see it's like super small. You can barely even see it. So we're going to just select these corners here and drag them up. So it scales all the way back up. And we're actually going to drag this lighting overlay in between our two layers of our car footage. So then when you do that, you can see your lightning is actually behind the car and it just makes it look a lot more realistic. You can scale this up and move it around and position it where you want it to be. And now you can see it's 3D camera track to your footage. And basically what you want to do is just keep doing this and repeating that process, duplicating the lightning, kind of just moving it around. And what you could even do is right click the layer, go to transform and flip horizontal. And that's just going to flip the layer horizontally so it looks like it's a little bit different but it's the same kind of lightning effect and i'm actually going to drag this one above my car layer so it's in front of the car and then we're just going to scale this up quite a bit so now i have a lightning effect that's like in front of the car which looks pretty cool but yeah like i said you can just go ahead and duplicate these as many times as you want i mean there's no really like perfect amount and just depends on how much lightning you want to have in your shot so pretty much do this process until you like the effect that you have and there you go that is pretty much how you create this lighting overlay effect lastly what i like to do is just create an adjustment layer and add one of my LUTs onto it and then on top of that i like to add another adjustment layer with a vignette and some grain and as you can see this just helps tie everything together and you can see kind of before and after it just helps match the colors between the lightning and darkens the image a little bit but yeah if you found this tutorial helpful then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out